We went to Lowe's and bought a bunch of stuff last night. And then yesterday, Greg got a couch. And we're supposed to get another one on Sunday. Supposed to what? Get another couch on Sunday. Yeah, this one's a little grandma looking, but it's the most comfortable couch I've ever sat in. Can you set it down if you need to? this life for since like 9 30 swole body oh we're taking out the sides of the bus uh because we're going to put beadboard all down the side right there so it's kind of like what would you call it Paneling. accent wall yeah kind oh. of and then so this is two colors of course that's just regular white and that's kind of regular gray so we're going with regular gray so all this will be gray and then we'll have the white beadboard uh and then the floors is going to be this color top you know laminate floors what color is the roof going to be gray, gray nerd why don't we take like a graffiti dude and spray kind of huh. redbeard's garage like I'm the new rego <clears throat> like the Excuse oh my me. gosh like the red look or the new logo the graffiti looking one yeah that on costs a thousand dollars so is we're going to uh cut these humps down because we don't need that much wheel travel and that'll give us more storage room and just general more room refrigerator there ac unit here the shower there pooper there we have light bars there's our headlights oh i can't wait to throw the lights on it but it's not yet not ready yet we have to wait so yeah we got a lot of sanding to do breaker box is going right there so we got to get all these uh these rivets drilled out and then we've been taking out these panels but they're behind this little lip This is bumped out, but the wall actually curves, so there's that much room to run all our wires. Hey, this will be a good YouTube video because I could not find an actual video of somebody taking a window up step by step.
Wham bam. That is 27 for 13 and a half. Let me hold it. Oh, uh, that'd be great. <laughs> be just great. Cold over there, baby. So I'm my cousin in college. <laughs> <laughs> The rock, I tell ya. <laughs> Only five point to go. Six. The big cat front. daddy. <laughs> the same size. More center. Look at me! We've had a heck of a day trying to clean out all this stuff. Oh, it's been horrible. Now we're actually kind of, sort of doing it, and I gotta use a deep bird tool on all these holes. Ugh. Holes. We're not building a gentleman's club. <laughs> and then run all the wires and let them hang out, hook them all up. It's a whole big deal. If you uh, never have checked out our Amazon affiliate links, check them out because we got some handy tools in there. This D Bird tool I have owned for many, many years. And it comes with several tips. You can buy extra tips for it, which I probably, it's about time this is my last tip. It'll cut those rough burrs off of steel holes. And uh, it works out really well. And we're finally making progress for today. Lots of wires everywhere. We still gotta pull one wire through the ceiling we need to do it back there or back here but basically this is our main wire for all of our lights these lights are only 12 volt and i'm using 16 gauge from the romex to the uh, flush mount little canister lights like i said they're only going to pull 12 volt, so it's going to be perfectly fine to do 16 gauge wire from the romex but i got the romex because uh it can carry enough load to power all these lights then all these lots are daisy chained, like I said, with 16 gauge. So that's what these this wire is running down through here is to daisy chain to all the lots. I was going to do distribution boxes right here. Guess what? Your boy grabs straight ones instead of T's. And uh, I'm too frustrated to wait another day. So what I'm going to do is use crimp connectors, uh, like twist the wire really good, crimp them all with some heavy um, household crimp connectors instead of the twist ones. I don't really like the twist nuts. Anywho, we got to run one more wire that's going to go down this area and that's going to be for the plug-in for the refrigerator. I can either run it up here or we can do a box, a line, just like we're doing a PVC line. It goes all the way back. It'll probably be the easiest way. We basically got to run three quarter inch or one inch. I'm going to see if, uh, I don't think three Romexes will fit in a three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe. If not, then I'll get one inch and basically one inch will run out of this metal. It'll come out right here, go to a light switch. One of these Romexes are, are the power in for the light. So it'll go in the light switch and then come back out of the light switch and go back up here. Uh, so when you power it on, it works that. Then the other one will pass, the other two will pass through. One of them will go to this outlet and then go down to another outlet. And then the other one will be a standalone plug just for our AC unit. 
uh, because our, or not our AC, our refrigerator and microwave or whatever we go with cookie oven. So it'll be, so the, the plug in at the very end will be on its own breaker. This plug, the plug in beside the couch and on each side of this couch will be on its own breaker. Uh, and then we're going to also daisy chain into that to our TV uh, power. So basically five outlets are going to be run off one breaker. Then another breaker will power just the refrigerator. Then another breaker will power just the AC unit. And then another breaker will power our um, water pump or water heater, I mean. And then another breaker will power the lights. You got that? No, this is cool. the most confusing thing. Um, I'm glad you know it though. So I do got to cut one more hole here and then I got to snake a wire to come out with these basically and tie in to this little junction as well. And then these wires, we're just going to like bundle up stuff in here when we paint. We're going to spray paint everything because uh, I'm not rolling. I'm not brushing. Screw that noise. They're really just spray paint. So we're going to have to re-clean everything really well uh, because I've been getting dust off of this. So it, it needs really scrubbed and then we can start painting. But I tell you. It's headache, and I hate filming at night because I know the video quality is crappy, but uh, this day was horrible until now, and it's actually flowing right now, and it feels good outside, too. Yeah. Um, but I got fiberglass all over me from this insulation, so I'm about to call it a day, take a shower, and then watch some tube. I always got to wind down with some tube. More plumbing and wiring. Plumbing the wires uh, will happen tomorrow because once the wiring's all the way done, then we can paint everything. Then we can put our electrical conduit to where we're going to have our outlets. Then we can pull all that apart and paint it uh, because it'll have the numbers on the PVC. And Becca don't want that to show. So we'll paint all that. We'll get all that affixiated. Then we can uh, we can put our bead board up and go get our bead board cut. No, then windows need to go in, then bead board. All right. We're a little slow with the camera. Greg's already started painting. Okay, so the paintings, you know, as done as it's going to be right now. I put two coats of paint on the ceiling, the walls, actually three coats almost. Uh, we're using rattle cans. Was it a mistake? Probably. Uh, it's just hard with certain rattle cans. Make sure when you buy rattle cans to pick a paint with the flat style sprayer. I'm telling you, the round style is ridiculous. Not just a cute color. Yeah, you can't just go buy the color. You got to <laughs> find a good can and then go find the color. Because uh, we use a type with the round sprayer, it's impossible to not get lines on a big area. So, Big Daddy Dan Dan the man is in here sanding the uh, ceiling. And he heard us, so he stopped. But I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the ceiling. So, he's sanding this to get uh, with green Scotch Bright to get the spray marks. There was, it was impossible to get the lines out. I mean, it was impossible. I don't think we could have done it. Yeah, the, uh, just the way the spray pattern is on the can, the center, the very center of the spray pattern puts out more paint than the outside. So the best way to do it is just to blend, just blend it in as you're sanding it. And it'll just, it's gonna look like a, a velvet ceiling. Hey, velvet <laughs> ceiling, nice. So uh, we'll, we'll walk inside and show you the, the bus. So I cut all these, I think these are like two and a quarter holes. We did eight canister lights, and we actually still got to cut one right there in the center of this. We're putting a bigger light right there. Uh, but you can see we used all of our wiring. These lights only pull 12 volts. So I did 18 gauge, like um, just copper wire. And basically, I used crimp connectors. I spun them all together, crimped them extremely tight, and then I black taped them, electrical taped them. So that should be perfectly fine, I think. 
It's not going to hurt nothing. No. Um, and the Romex is just there to give it the initial power to provide enough power for all these lights to pull off of. Then above Daniel's head is where though John will be, the throne, the toilette, and we got a single light and we can add a secondary light over the shower if we need it and it'll be no problem. All we have to do is cut the hole and, <coughs> and extend the wire from this hole over to the hole we cut. That runs to this wire which is also uh, going to go down the wall through external conduit all the way down there to a light switch. Then we have to have a line running from that light switch down all the way, stick it there, and tie into this outlet that's gonna be right here. Because it's fine for, so basically the outlets that's gonna be in here for general use, like cell phone charging stuff, is also gonna power, be feeding the bathroom lights. Does that make sense to you, Daniel? No. Cool. <laughs> uh, and then we're doing B board right here, so that's all later. Breaker box is going there. We're gonna do a pad and cover over it. It'll look really nice. We derelictly taped this up. You know, we can get any overspray off window or dash. I mean, we're actually replacing the dashboard, so she's looking good. Tell me what you think of the color. I like it a lot. I think it'll look really good. Our windows are white, as you can see out there. And once they're installed, hopefully today, uh, this thing's going to look sick. What do you think? Can't wait to ride it. Yeah. <laughs> 351 winds are howling, baby. So guys, let me know what you think of the bus, the colors, how I wired stuff. Whatever you have a problem with, let me know in the comment section below, of course. So when this video was made, we have one week before the meetup, and we didn't expect to have this bus even close to being done before our meetup uh, because of the time frame that we got it and how we've been working on it. We basically only work on it like one day a week. Now we're working on it every single day. I'm splitting time between the buggy and this. So like when you see Daniel in there working or Rebecca in there working, I'm inside working on the buggy and vice versa. If Daniel's not in the, bu uh, in the bus with us uh, during the day, he's in there working on the buggy. So we've been bouncing around uh, because it's super hot right now. So I've been giving Daniel a break, letting him go in the AC in the garage and I'll come out here and sweat some, you know, swapping it out, swapping work out. He sanded that one panel of the roof and it looks awesome. Uh, it was a good idea on his part, thinking of sanding it, blending it all in. And then we're gonna actually wax it with automotive wax maybe a household wax, I don't know, and it'll actually make it look uh, almost like it's clear coated. And that'll protect it, since it's a matte paint, that'll protect it from fingerprints sticking to it. Really like the color though, it's gonna look awesome. So let us know what you think. A uh, huge shout out to Go Power Sports for supporting this build. They're actually gonna be on the wrap uh, and a big sponsor for the wrap. Also Duramax uh, engines, make sure to go on Go Power Sports. And uh, for any mini bike and go-kart needs, that helps us out and tell them we sent you. And then on Duramax, if you go to Generator Factory Outlet before May 31st, you can use the discount code RBG to get 20% off any Duramax products. That's engines, uh, pressure washers, and all types of things. So go check them out. We do have some awesome Duramax stuff going on this bus, generators and stuff uh, to run it. So a lot of trips are, are planned when this thing's done. It's going to be a long progress or a long road to get to that state. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for supporting us. Um, it's just, it's been an awesome uh awesome year so far we can't wait to see what uh, the good lord has in store for us we love you guys and god bless